right, we're backstage here at the Haight-Ashbury Street Fair. I got Pete Sears here. And Pete, you go way back with all these bands. And so I know you play with other bands, uh, Moon Alice. Uh, yeah, Moon Alice, not today, but uh, Moon Alice and also the Doobie Decibel System. And um, do the one-off one -off gigs and things, you know, different, different people, Dr. John, different people. And, uh, but really, you know, today, I'm just here to play with David Nelson Band and, and sit in with Starship, Jefferson Starship. Yeah. Now, uh, David Nelson's coming off of a tour, huh? Yeah, we did. We just finished it. We were in Ukiah yesterday, and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. And so I remember on stage watching you, I was amazed. You always had, like, two guitars slung. Tell me your habit with that. Oh, two guitars? Well, that was for maybe just one or two songs. Yeah, yeah. That, that was, uh, like, Stranger or something. I, I do a double lead with Craig, but really I'm the bass player and, and keyboard player. And David Freiberg and I would switch back and forth. And, uh, and on the recording, I'd sometimes play some bass and some keys. And like, so those are your favorite, is the bass and keys? Well, I mean, it's just, just the way it's been for most of right, my career since right. 1965. Kind, kind <laughs> old, of the, old habits die hard. You know? Yeah, the, the position opens. I'm not really, I'm not really a guitarist, you know? yeah. although I play guitar. And how about some music you've been writing or anything? Yeah, I've been, I've been writing a lot, yeah. Just play uh, for different bands and, yeah, to do, play with the, the David Nelson band or Moon Alice. Or, uh, you should sing those songs or, or, or something like, like singing. So give me an experience that you had at the Bammies. Bammies? Oh, God. Um, the Bammies? Well, I, uh, yeah, I got, got a... Um, Bay Area Music Award for bass player one, one year. Yeah, you know, yeah. I got that, and and um, I sort of mumbled my way through the uh, acceptance speech, I guess. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, but then, but Joe Montana was backstage. That was nice. We yeah. got to have a photo taken. He was a great athlete, and, um, and the guy, guys from the Doobie Brothers, you know, the, the, that was with Pat and everything. That was nice to hang out with those guys. So, yeah, it was a great event. It was, a, it was yeah. cool back then. I We're bringing like the it. Bammies back. We're going to have a yeah. Bammies reunion next year. Cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of pictures at Pat Johnson's studio, who's a, a big photographer around here. You know yeah. Pat Johnson yeah. and yeah. with you and, and different folks. And uh, later on, I'm going to get Donnie Baldwin, and we're going to yeah. interview all you guys. All right. uh, I want to uh, interview people from the viewpoint of the drummer because he's always in the back. That's always a good, good <laughs> yeah, any band's only as good as his drummer. That's drummer. right. I don't care how good the musicians they are. Well, and you you have to, if you don't have a good drummer, your bass playing yeah. suffers. I mean, True. for timing. I mean, like, well, and vice versa. It's like a rhythm rhythm section. Yeah, it's, it's it starts sort of, there. It's kind of important, really, rhythm section. Once it's, Believe it or not, we're stuck back there. But yeah. you know, if, if, we, if, if we suddenly stop, you'd notice it. Unless, yeah. you, unless you start from the beginning without a drums and bass, <laughs> it's okay. Hey, I, I've always been proud to watch you in, in bands.